Hey guys, just received a uh, package in the mail. This is the new Turnergy servo and um, 1450 milliamp 2 cell 6.6 .6 volt uh, LIFEPO and DSM2. And this is the um, test for centering. As you can see, it corrects itself a little bit in the center. And then here we've got, uh, I'll put some load on it, so I'll wiggle the gears. I'm putting a fair bit of pressure on it there. That's starting to hurt my fingers. And so yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, I'll do a slow as slow as I can. Or as smooth as I can, I should say. It seem a little jumpy, but not too bad. That's about the fastest you'll get. The servo's only hot glued on the table, so getting a little bit of flex from that. just fallen off. <laughs> anyway, pretty good servo. Alright, just for reference we've got a um, Airtronics Digital 94761Z so just for centering and gear slot That's a fair bit of pressure there. And for smoothness. It's pretty hard to do a smoothness test, but... So a bit less slop. Alright, and for the final test, we have ourselves a really expensive, these really break the budget, DS939MG Corona. So will she uh, see how she performs? Alright, same gear. And here we go. And here is the slop test. Not a bad little servo for seven dollars something. Smoothness test. So we've got ourselves three digital servos here, all very good, all different price ranges and all for different applications. The Turnergy was um, centering okay, uh, centering very good, some gear slot and um, not so smooth on the sticks 
the Airtronics, well, as as to be expected for a fifty dollar servo, they were quite good. And the Corona, noticeable gear slop at the start, um, and but quite a good dollar uh, servo for seven dollars.